Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Good morning, Jarek. Emily. Isabel. I'm looking forward to growing old with you too. Isabel is so sweet. Sebastian? Sebastian is um, very intense, you know, saying that he likes watching me and uh, that I'm the only person he needs. It's, um, so intense that it's almost creepy. Juliet? So this is Philip's room. Okay. Gabriel? Aww. Let's watch some TV. Tomorrow's weather will be cloudy and uh, sunny on Ginger Island. And today's luck is neutral. Today is Abigail's birthday. She loves the kitty muffins and we've got three of those so I think I'm going to give her one. Oh it's the uh this fridge. Yep. These are so cute. Let's see about the crab uh, pot situation. Here we go. And the marine ones. All again. <laughs> Actually, more than full again. The swordfish I'm going to put into the fish pond. Get the population there to grow a bit faster. And I think I'm going to sell these two. Ah, uh, yeah, I do have some new land. Renovate your new property. Oh, we are going to have to go see about that. Philip, good morning. Oh, you're reading Incredi Man. Uh, would you like an earth crystal? Let's go say good morning to our animals. 
Good morning. I'm going to make these um non-starry and silver starry dino eggs into dino mayo. Gotta make some room in here again. Um there. All right. Good morning. Mm, here we go. Yeah. And then we'll sell these. Careful not to sell the swordfish. And any truffles? Nope. Don't see any. That in there. And what do you guys want? Three um, refined quartz can do. There should be a bunch. Yep. One, two, three. And everybody else is fine. Let's go check our greenhouse. Got coffee. We have some money once again. We should um, go and reset. I think our farming skill is level 10 again. And um, so is our mining skill. So now I kind of want to hurry on over to, well, we need to go give Abigail her birthday gift first. But then after that, I kind of want to hurry on over to Rich Side and uh, see about this renovating of the uh, new property. Sounds very interesting. So, um, let's go give Abigail her birthday present. Rodney, hi. Checking on Sterling. Hmm. Other people have been commenting about Sterling being... I don't know, shifty somehow? Maybe I should go visit him. Uh, Sterling, hi. Thinking about the coastline. Ah, oh, no problem. Hmm. I'm still going to go and uh, stop by his place because maybe we'll get some kind of an event there. You know, in regards to the shiftiness. Abigail? Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Caroline. Oh. <laughs> I am 
so not the target audience for complaints about playing too many video games or spending too much time playing video games. Um, yeah, let's go see if there's anything happening at uh, Sterling's place. What's going on? He's shaking. Half dead on your feet. <laughs> well, that would be most unbecoming indeed. All patched up. Well, she's very handy. With that, apparently. Everyone should know a little first aid. Oh yeah, some flowers do have thorns. Okay. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Baron? Same old, same old about the bookmarks. Uh, would you like a frozen tear? Nah. Guess not then. Uh. Hi. Would you like a grape? I think I have them over here. Yes, I do. Nice, two hearts. So Sterling lives in this house, right? Yeah, he does. Hi. You found something. Silver chip. Super for over 24 hours. and uh, and stuff and then it becomes a habit for um when you're together to do that
Yeah, I bet. The first 24 hours must have been hard. Wow. Um, I didn't earn it though. Yeah, you and Shane kind of have, have things in common like that. beaten but you feel a little stronger just holding it ah I'll keep it safe well that was Sweet. Doesn't explain the shifty thing though. Hello Mia. Max. Hmm, I guess we should head to the um, minecart. I think there was one up here. Yep. I want to get to Rich side and... And, um, to the new farm. Or old farm. But first, let's see what it takes to renovate it. Oh, June, hi. Not really the lounging on top of the piano while you play type. Uh, 150,000, 500 wood, 500 hardwood, and 250 stone. I think we've got everything but the hardwood. All right then, let's clear the land up there, at least um, as much of it as we have time to clear. And then maybe like tomorrow we could focus on getting the hardwood. It is a nice looking house, like already even um, even though it hasn't been renovated yet we want to use this farm for? The farm that we have, the uh, kind of property there is um, huge enough to 
accommodate pretty much everything that we want to do there. Well, I guess we can think about this later as well. Let's just clear the area for now. There's so much land here. Hmm. Maybe we could just grow fruit trees here. I know they don't um, produce fruit in all seasons when they're planted outside. I know that um, they only produce in their designated season unless they're planted in a greenhouse. But I don't know if I have very much um, other use for this huge area. We could fit a lot of trees in here and then connect them with the wooden paths. And uh, then the whole place would practically, you know, take care of itself. Um, automatically harvest and uh, we wouldn't really have to do anything here. We could also do the beekeeping thing here. Because then we just have to come switch the flowers or like uh, change the flowers every season. Once every season, you know, when, when the season changes. And other than that, it would be completely self-sufficient. Like, uh, you know, take care of itself. So maybe, maybe this could be like a honey and fruit tree kind of farm. Make it all nice and pretty and uh, make some kind of a nice beautiful layout with um, flowers and beehives and fruit trees. Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? We don't really need it to be like a uh, super productive or, you know, a, a massive money maker or anything. The main thing for me is going to be that it doesn't add to our workload very much. I wonder what this inside is going to look like when it's all refurbished. Is it just going to um, fix all the things that are broken or is it going to like um, add stuff into here? I guess we'll see. There's a note on the table. To whoever is reading this. Oh, this is from the farmers who 
were sealed away in here. High walls of soil, plants and trees and whenever they tried to take down those walls, they would grow back stronger. So they were trapped. But they did manage to live out the rest of their lives here in peace. And they were happy. That's good to hear. And I guess they have passed on by now? This land is yours to take. Just give it love as we did before. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, let's continue clearing the land. And, uh. Yeah. Tomorrow we could go and get us some hardwood. Maybe go into deep woods and see if we can make some progress there while getting us some hardwood. Because um, I do remember that in order to be able to purchase the deep woods or bellies, that um, allows you to teleport to the... Uh, kind of deepest level that you have managed to get to um, within the deep woods so that you don't have to start from the beginning all over again every time you go there um, and you'll be actually able to make some progress there. So in order to be able to purchase that obelisk you must first get to at least level 20 in the deep woods. So... I think we might try and do that in the next episode, maybe. And at the same time, get us some hardwood. Oh, <laughs> out of mana again. I wonder if we're going to get a magic level up from all of this. We have been using a lot of mana here. There we go. Ah, can't get those ones. <laughs> That's a shame. Mm. So we could fish here as well. And uh, there's a huge area to use here. So yeah, maybe flowers and beehives and fruit trees and uh, decorations. Some kind of a nice layout. Hmm. Let's make some more coal. Because we are going to need a lot of it if we want to make more preserve jars to handle all of the row that we're producing. Those in 
there and then we need to put the that in there and mine loot and the wild plums go into here okay I think we're ready to call it a day and get to bed And tomorrow we'll spend in the deep woods. Oh, and the traveling merchant will be visiting again as well. We'll have to go see if we can buy us some rare seeds and uh, maybe some blue jazz as well. Magic level up. Oh yeah, plus one spell per spell set will be very nice. So memory it is. Wow, almost 70,000. I think I'll want to go and reset my magic skill. Start leveling it up again and get some more perks for it. Yeah, we'll be using magic in the uh, deep woods quite a bit. So that'll help us level the skill up again. Right. Um... Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.